Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is lecture number 12 and today we are going to study introduction to rectifiers. First I will tell you what is rectifier. Rectifier are used to convert alternating voltage to direct voltage or simply they convert AC to DC. Before studying the rectifier circuit, we have to make certain assumptions. These assumptions will help to simplify the rectifier circuit or we can say that they make the study of rectifiers easy. Now what are these assumptions? We assume that there is no voltage drop across thyristor or diode in on state or we can say that thyristor or diode are assumed ideal. No reverse current exists in reverse bias thyristor or diode. Turn on and turn off times are zero. In case of thyristor, holding current is equals to zero. And this last assumption is input power is equals to output power. As diode and thyristor are already assumed ideal, it means there are no losses across this thyristor and diode. That's why in we, we can assume that input power is equals to output power. Now we will see some definitions related to rectifier circuit. First is pulse number. It is number of load current or voltage pulses during one cycle of AC source voltage. To understand this, suppose this is waveform of half wave uncontrolled rectifier. So in this waveform we are getting only one pulse during one cycle. That's why it is called one pulse converter. Now this is the waveform of output of a full wave rectifier. So in this we are getting two pulses of output voltage from 0 to 2 pi. That's why it is a two pulse converter. In this way we can classify rectifiers as one pulse, two pulse, three pulse, six pulse converters. Okay, next is uncontrolled rectifiers. Why they are called uncontrolled? Because in these rectifiers they convert AC to a fixed DC. Okay, why DC is fixed? Because we cannot control the output voltage. Why we cannot control the output voltage? Because here in these circuits we use diodes for rectifi rectification and we know that diodes are uncontrolled devices. That's why we cannot control the DC output voltage and we get fixed DC output voltage for a given AC. Second is fully controlled rectifier. In these rectifiers AC can be converted to variable DC and how it is converted to variable DC we know that in fully controlled rectifiers thyristors are used and thyristor are semi-controlled devices. It means we can control the turn on of thyristors. By controlling the turn on of thyristor we can control the output voltage. That's why the rectified circuit using thyristors are called fully controlled rectifiers. Next is semi-converter rectifiers. Why these are called semi-converter rectifiers? Because they use both thyristor and diode. They also convert AC into variable DC. This variable DC is possible because of this thyristors. Next is half wave rectifier. Rectifier that only allows one half cycle of an AC voltage waveform to pass and they block the other half cycle. They are called half wave rectifiers. In case of full wave rectifiers, they convert AC voltage into a pulsating DC voltage using both half cycles of applied AC voltage. So these are all the defi all definitions. You will understand all these definitions with more clarity when we will see the various rectifier circuits. Then we can associate all these definitions with all those rectifier circuits and we will get more clear understanding of all these concepts. Now next is concept of Fourier series. 
This concept of Fourier series will be utilized when we study the various non-sinusoidal waveforms. So we know that any non-sinusoidal waveform can be represented using Fourier series. So this is formula for Fourier series function ft that is equals to a0 plus sigma n is equals to 1 to infinity an cos, omega, cos n omega naught t plus bn sin n omega naught t where a0 is equals to 1 upon 2 pi integration 0 to pi ft dt an is equals to 2 upon 2 pi integration 0 to pi ft cos n omega naught n omega t d omega t and bn is equals to 2 upon 2 pi integration 0 to 2 pi ft sin omega n omega t d omega t these equations are already been told to you in my i think second or third lecture so here one important thing you must note that is if ft is even okay in case of even function ft is equals to f of minus t and then bn is equals to 0 and a0 and an are not equals to 0 while if ft is an odd function then we get ft is equals to minus f of f minus t then in this case bn is not equals to 0 and we get a0 is equals to an that is equals to 0 so you must remember this to make your Fourier series analysis easier you must remember these equations okay now what is voltage step load if load is r type then we can say that r or re type then we can say that load is voltage step in case of voltage step load the output voltage and current waveforms are similar suppose if load is voltage stiff then if my voltage waveform is like this okay then my current waveform will also be like this so we can say that this is a voltage stiff load but what I get if I get wave waveform of voltage like this okay and waveform of current like this okay the, uh, as we can clearly see that here current and voltage waveforms are not similar so this is this happens in case of when there is some capacitor or inductor in the load so in this case when cap voltage and current waveforms are not similar this is called current stiff load and when voltage and current waveforms are similar this is called voltage step load in case of voltage step load the output power is always given by i rms square into r if load is r type and if load is re type then output power is given by i rms square r plus e into i not average while in case of current step load the output power of rectifier is always given by V0 average into I0 average. So this is all about introduction to rectifier. Just go through it and you will get more clear understanding of all these concepts when we study the rectifier circuit in detail. So that's all about this video. I hope you like the video. Thank you. Jai Shri Ram. If you got the knowledge and concepts from this video, then please like the video and subscribe the channel. You can give your views and ask any questions related to this topic in comment box. Also share this video with your friends because sharing is caring. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming videos. Thank you.